Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. Here we talk about how to save and invest your money successfully. Today we're gonna be talking about how to live off of a low income. If you find yourself with a, a low income or if you're just having a hard time being able to get ahead, this video is gonna be for you and we're gonna get right into it. The first step that is gonna be able to help you live off of less is budgeting. Budgeting is extremely important. Oftentimes, I know for myself, I can find that I spent money on something and I didn't even realize that I was spending money on it. It's something that you can easily find yourself putting money into things and spending money, many different things. Let's say groceries, for instance. Spending money on groceries and not even realizing that you've overspent by $25 or by $30 what you usually spend on groceries. By having a budget, it keeps you accountable to say, okay, every time I go and get groceries, I'm gonna spend $50 on groceries this week. And if I overspend, then that's something that I'm gonna have to take into consideration next week when I go to spend money on my groceries. This is something that can be difficult in the beginning. However, as you continue to practice and as you continue to work towards budgeting and being more comfortable and getting into a rhythm with budgeting, it's something that becomes a lot more natural. And so budgeting can be something that is extremely helpful and beneficial to your finances by seeing exactly where all of your money is going. Personally, I use an app called SoFi, which is able to keep track of all of your finances through your credit card, your bank accounts, and even your investments if you choose to use them for investing in stocks. And that's something that you can use for free. I'll have a link down in the description below if you wanna use it. Another way that you can be able to save money every single month is on housing. So if you're renting, consider the what options you have for a place that ha is cheaper in the rent, and but it's still you know in a good location for you that you, you can still appreciate but isn't quite as expensive as where you're at now. And if you own a home, consider renting out a room, renting out a ba your basement if that's fixed up, or even doing Airbnb. You can also do that with either a room or with a basement as well. Those are a couple options that are gonna help save you some money on that housing payment every single month. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've been finding value in this, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button down below. It really does help out the channel. It shows this content with, to other people that it might be able to help, and I really do appreciate it. We're gonna move on to our next point. Eliminate bad debt. What is bad debt? Bad debt is things like credit cards. It's things like auto loans. It's things that you're spending money on um, every single month that is not helping serve you. So what that means is if you're buying something in real estate that is for the purpose of renting out to someone, so rental real estate, that's something that is good debt. That means that you're able to have a tenant come in, pay for your mortgage as well as pay you for living in that home. Consider your options when it comes to good debt and make sure that you're being careful when it comes to bad debt. Credit cards are something that people use in order to be able to purchase something and not have to pay for it right away. Now, when you're purchasing something on a credit card, it's important to know that you need to have the finances, the money available to be able to pay off that debt every single month. You don't wanna to have to pay any sort of interest payment on your credit card. Those interest payments can be anywhere between 15 to 24% or even higher that you're gonna to have to pay every single month on that balance that you owe if you don't pay off the full balance. And also in regards to eliminating debt, consider things like paying off your car early or even paying off your school loans early. Th those kinds of things are things that are gonna be costing you based off that interest that you're gonna to have to be paying every single month. Be mindful of where you're spending your money when it comes to food. This is something that can become extremely easy to overspend in this category. I know for my wife and I, we like to go out every week or two and go, go out to eat somewhere. And it can be extremely expensive if we're not careful. And so this is something that you wanna have a budget, have a limit of how much you're willing to spend based off of your finances each month in this category. Also, you want to consider automating your savings goal. So what this means is if you're wanting to save $100 every single month, you can tell your bank to automatically put $100 into your savings account. This is something that a lot of different banks can do 
check in with your bank and what they're able to do. I know I have Ally Bank and they're able to do this just by setting up what's called a reoccurring deposit. And so every single time that I got my paycheck, I could set it up for to withdraw that money and I could have a certain amount of money going into my savings account every single pay period. Another way of saving money and being able to live off of lower income is by finding free or affordable entertainment. I know that if you go out to the movies, you can easily be spending $12, $15 on a movie ticket. If you want to have any sort of popcorn, you know, drink, candy, any sort of thing like that, then you could easily be spending $25 just to go see one movie, and that's for one person. If you're doing that for two people or a family, then this can get really, really expensive really quickly. So consider some different options in your town and what you're able to do for free. Think of things like going on a walk in the park or going on a hike. There's a multitude of different things that you could potentially be doing that cost nothing but are just as good as paying a lot of money for something entertaining. If you have a car, look into the different kinds of costs that you're paying for on a regular basis. Things like car insurance. Look around, compare different providers, and see what's gonna be best for you and for your particular needs with your insurance. Oftentimes you can save up to a couple hundred dollars every year just by shopping around and seeing what your best option is in regards to car insurance. Also, if you have a car payment, consider paying off that car early or consider downgrading to something that you're actually able to afford. If you're paying a couple hundred dollars in a car payment every single month, it could be better put towards a different area of your finances where you can just buy a car outright for a few thousand dollars and then be able to have a car that you don't have to be paying a, pay a car payment on every single month. Now, while you're doing all of this, it's very important to just take care of your health. Health insurance is something that's extremely costly and it's not really something that you're able to easily shop around for or find a cheaper rate as it's something that you get through your employer oftentimes. And so this is something that just by being healthy, this can be of extreme benefit to you and for your finances. Just doing simple things like getting enough sleep, eating right, and exercising is just gonna be something that is gonna help you to feel your best. Also, after hearing all of this, if it's still something that you're having a hard time in your finances to meet your monthly needs, it is something you may wanna to consider to increasing your income. This can be done a multitude of different ways. You could find a side hustle that you're interested in and start making money online or just doing some small business. That's something that could create income for you and then be able to be something that makes it so you have a little more wiggle room in your budget. You can also just look into different jobs. Maybe the particular job that you have as a burger flipper isn't paying the bills anymore. And maybe it's something that you can start looking into a job that's just gonna be able to pay you more and be able to meet those needs that you have. So those are a couple options that you have in order to be able to save money despite having a low income. If this video was helpful for you, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button down below. It really does help out the channel. I do appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you on our next video.